Hey everybody, and welcome to Ashura's Wrath. Now, before I jump into my opinion of this game, let me give you a little background. Uh, Ashura's Wrath came out in 2012, and it was a much anticipated game for what it was. There was uh, a lot of quick time events highlighted in this game, a lot of fighting, a lot of action. You know, it was basically like a, a, a Dragon Ball Z type story that you could play through as you saw from that clip of him getting angry and it was just about this guy's rage fueling whatever he was supposed to do and oh my goodness now to jump into my gushing over this game this is one of my favorite games of all time hands down one of my favorite action games of all time. It's made into my permanent collection. I wouldn't have it any other way. I love the music. I love the story. The graphics are freaking awesome. This is on the PlayStation 3. This was only three years ago. Obviously, this game has aged well. Obviously, this game in three years did its thing. This game gets busy when it comes to action and entertainment, and it pulls you in, and it makes you feel what this character is going through like I would say that Ashura is one of the best badasses to come out of uh, the gaming universe as far as uh, a badass hero like nobody has balls as big as Ashura's when, and, and you'll see as we jump in this game, you'll find out why and what's going on and all this other kind of stuff obviously from what you can see it looks like betrayal but there is there's more and less to it but this this game is freaking awesome i can't continue to gush over it because i'll be here the entire first episode just telling you how great it is and not showing you so let's do the damn thing now when i played it i played it completely through on normal you can play it through on uh anything else um and before we get started I also want to show you, because this game can be long. It's episodic, but yeah, see, completion rate uh, of the downloadable content is 77%. Uh, completion rate of the actual game itself was 93%. And I think I didn't get the other 7% because I didn't get S rankings on all the missions, which is freaking crazy, but I have uh, the Destructor which fills up the ultimate gauge faster. Defender, that decreases the damage taken. Avenger, that's a assures default gauge. And then there are these three. And I think those three were the ones that I didn't I didn't do. Thermal regulator, recover from overheating faster. Uh, survivor, length of time in unlimited mode is extended. And blind master, none of the gauges are displayed throughout the game. Um, but I prefer the destructive fills up the unlimited gauge faster so you can have more boom-bastic stuff going down as you play. What's the bumpers? Set customized bumpers. You can set bumpers. Uh, I'll just go with the default ones. Uh, trophies. Yeah. Uh, one out of six. Complete all episodes with at least an A ranking on normal. Uh, yeah, so I did. I got an A ranking. The only other ranking is S. So, oh, yeah. I can't wait. So we're just going to go in. So I played this game. I know what's going on. And try and make it as awesome of an experience as possible. Like, look at that. The colors. The colors. The sheer huh, of it all. Normal. Start the game on normal. Yeah. I'm not here to prove anything. I'm just here to have a good time. And boy, damn it, is this game going to be good. This game is going to be fun. Now, I got to relearn the controls. Because, and you have to pardon me, because I'm a little congested. Um, the controls are a little... Uh, it took me a little bit to get the hang of them when I was first playing, but Capcom, you did your thing in this game. The foul, impure beast that roamed the land, the Goma, 
In order to save civilization from their never-ending threat, the demigods who govern the world created an ultimate weapon that would wipe the Goma off the face of the planet once and for all. The legions were led by eight elite demigods, eight guardian generals. One of them, General Shura, was in the thick of battle. They expect you to read through that pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at those golden arms. Those white pants. All of those ships. <laughs> I'm gonna crank the volume in my headset. And I'm gonna try not to scream. Of course I wanna start this measy feezy, this mamma jamma. It's like, let's do this, baby. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, he's just screaming. Whoa. He's just screaming and launching. Trying to kill everybody and everything. I love it. Whoa. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at him go. Ugh, I missed it. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. And that's the thing. There are so many quick time events that you could miss them. And just because it goes to a cutscene doesn't mean you're out of you know, paying attention in this game. Goma Carrier, 24,000. Or 240,000. That's their level. Purity level. Freaking dealing with power levels. Insane. And, yeah, nothing is safe. Yeah. Yeah. I hit it. I got it. Uh, 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 yeah. Look at how badass he is. Fear not, brave warriors of Shinkoku. The Karma Fortress. struggle against the Goma shall come to an end tonight. Shinkoku Army Orbital Force. Demigods, purge our world of the impure Goma. The life-giving mantra is one Mm-hmm. Faithful people of Shinkoku, I'm back. Get out of the way, show. Oh, hey. How you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Oh, they've got giant machine guns. Why did the music suddenly calm down? It's supposed to be action. I'm supposed to be able to feel this in my nuts. I mean, you know. Not like that's that's a manly saying. Okay, here we go. Wait, no, I did it.
I did that one. Yeah, baby. Doing it. That's one big ass arm. A guardian wizen. One of the generals. Time to have some fun. Yep. Lucky for you. I can make that happen. He's a badass. Nice. Argus. He's my favorite. I love it. Like, he's a badass, too. Yasha. Mithra. Yeah! Ashura! You're damn right! Let's do this! Yeah, that's the thing, uh, an issue I had with the game before, the Brahmastra, was... What? Was... 
because sometimes the, the volume balance isn't good between the music and the, the speech and the speaking because, yeah, sometimes they want the music for a dramatic effect, but it drowns out but why? the dialogue. Yep. It shows how serious we are about winning. Behold! It is Vlitra! What the hell is that? Only one of them smiled. Goma Vitra, impurity level immeasurable. Holy hell. It popped out the side of the... Did it just vomit? It's just vomiting power at this point. Wow. It yawned. That's the power of its yawn. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Part one, suffering, the coming of a new dawn. So I am actually gonna cut the video here because we are balls deep in it. And, and oh, oh, I remember. I remember the endorphins and the testosterone and the adrenaline that starts surging when you play this game. It's, it's awesome. It's an awesome game. Um, probably should have been a seizure warning at the beginning for anyone who is prone to uh, epileptic seizures if they have bright flashes and stuff like that so if if you do it's kind of late now but if you do have epilepsy this is not the game for you because there's all kind of bright lights and flashes and oh so but for those who are not in danger Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked it, mash that like button like there's no tomorrow. Share the video with the world. Hit me up on Twitter and hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the videos thus far. And I'm the Outlier, and I will see you all in the next video.